The viewer was having some trouble getting sound out of their USB and speaker setup, and I thought maybe some general troubleshooting techniques would help. Um, I'll be using the Axe I.O. USB interface and my Mackie monitors, but many interfaces and speaker setups share these features, so I think it'll be generally useful. Uh, a couple times I will get into Mac-specific things, and I don't know how to tell you to do that on the PC, but I'm pretty confident that this PC would have similar software, but you may need to dig around and find it. All right, let's get started. Step one. First, make sure your instrument cable is good. With luck, your interface has some sort of LED display. Often that's just a single LED, but that's enough. Here you can see my guitar is plugged in via a wireless interface into the front instrument port. I can see that the Axe I.O. has detected it as an instrument level input. This photo was taken after I strummed the guitar and the bottom two LEDs lit up indicating the unit is receiving the expected input. If your LEDs are not lighting up, you need to solve that first. Check the volume knob on your guitar, your pickup selector switch, and the cable connection at your guitar. If you have an amp, can you plug into the amp and get sound? If not, you might have a bad cable. If it works on your amp, use the same setup and plug it into your interface. In the case of the Axe I.O., there is also a rear input that also takes a 1 quarter inch jack or an XLR. Make sure there is nothing in there. You can test for a bad front jack by plugging your guitar into the rear input. On the Axe I.O., the line light will illuminate. You might need to turn up the volume a bit more with this configuration, and you will be bypassing all the guitar shaping controls, so you're going to want to get a fully working unit. But if the back works and the front doesn't, it's pretty good data to the manufacturer that it's a problem with the box. Step two. If your input LEDs are flashing and you have a headphone output and a pair of headphones, try those before connecting your speakers. In this photo, you can see I'm plugged into the headphone out port. The cable is obscuring it, but there is a little icon for the headphones under the port. It's surprisingly easy on the Axe I.O. to accidentally plug into the amp out port. I've done that more times than I care to admit to, including while making this video. So double check that you are in the correct port. If your interface has a monitor knob that allows you to mix the direct signal with what is coming from your computer, use it fully in the direct mode as shown here. For this test, you don't even need the Amplitude software running. Turn the headphone volume to a moderate level and strum. You should hear your guitar. You can turn up the headphone input if you don't hear anything. If you're at max and you don't hear anything, you have to solve this first. It might be your interface is damaged, but at least try cycling the power button to the interface and try again. If you turned up the headphone volume and it worked, turn it back down. <laughs> Once you start getting the signal from your computer, it can be significantly louder. Step three, now you can try out your speakers. You still don't need your computer. First, I'm going to use the line out ports on the back. IK did us a solid and labeled the first two ports as 1L and 2R. This makes it easy to match the cable to the proper stereo channel on the back of the speaker. Once you have the speakers cabled, turn them on. If they have a volume control, set that to a moderate level and strum your guitar. If you don't hear anything, check your connections. My cables meet some resistance and then produce an audible click when they're all the way in. In this photo, the cable is not connected properly. It's not in far enough. If you don't have quarter inch cables or your speakers don't have them, but you do have a 1 8 inch stereo cable and a 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch adapter, you can cable that way. If you have a 1 8 inch stereo to RCA cable and a 1 quarter inch adapter, you can also cable the speaker that way. If the headphone jack is working but you can't get sound out of the speakers, it indicates something is amiss with the speakers or the connections. Try using the same connection method directly from your laptop. On my Mac laptop, I can plug the 1 8 inch stereo input into my laptop and then a new option appears in my audio output drop down. I can select external headphones from there and then play something like, oh, I don't know, let's say this video and see if I get sound. If this also doesn't work, I think you might be able to start blaming your interface. Step 4. If your guitar is lighting up your interface and you can hear your guitar through your speakers, it's time to move the monitor knob away from the direct side and more to the DAW side. I would suggest the midway point. Launch Amplitude, follow the directions from my first video and select your input device and output device to be your USB interface. Strum your guitar, 
If you don't hear anything, check both the input and output meters in Amplitude. If the input isn't moving, you might need to dig into the software on your computer for sound or USB. Step five. On the Mac, the first step is the sound control panel. Select the input tab. Your interface should be highlighted. When you strum, the input level meter should change. If it doesn't, you need to dig a little deeper. On the Mac, that means launch the audio MIDI setup program. Just hit command space and type in audio and you should see it in the list. My format is 44.1 kilohertz, two channel, 24 bit integer. If yours is something different, try this value. Click on the input. Everything might be disabled and that's okay. That doesn't represent a problem. However, if your controls are active, make sure the mute column is unchecked and move the sliders to their maximum position. On my Axe IO, no input is software controllable, so everything is dimmed out. Leave this app open as we'll be coming back to it. Step six, if you see input but no output, there are a couple of things to try. First, make sure the output meters are showing something on Amplitude. If not, bring up the mixer and see if anything is showing activity. Try unmuting all the channels and pushing all the sliders to zero dB. Step seven, if you have activity on your output meter but no sound, there are a couple of things to try. First, if you have a laptop with built-in speakers, go back to the audio MIDI setup tab in Amplitude and make your built-in speakers the output device. If that works, you've narrowed it down to your speaker USB interface. Switch back to your interface as the output device. On the Mac, go back to your audio MIDI setup program. This time, use the output tab. My format is 6-channel, 24-bit integer, 44.1 kilohertz. The primary slider is under the control of your speaker control buttons on your computer. You can verify this, or if you want, just drag the slider to its maximum volume. Again, make sure nothing here is muted. Step eight. This step is akin to magic, but it worked for me once. If you have the cables, try connecting your laptop's headphone port directly to your speakers. Leave all your other connections in place. When I did this, Amplitude automatically switched my output device to my Mac headphone jack. I could hear my guitar. I then unplugged the cable and switched the setting back to my interface, and that fixed whatever was going on. I then had audio going out to the USB interface and then to the speakers. It seemed to me that this auto switch fixed something in Amplitude. This problem has never happened again. Step nine, if all else fails, before giving up, try quitting Amplitude, power down your USB interface, power your USB interface back up, launch Amplitude. Check your audio MIDI settings again to make sure the proper input and output devices are still selected and give it one more try. If that doesn't work, you can also do those steps again, but restart your computer after powering down your USB interface. Step 10, if you still have problems, you can try posting a comment in this video and maybe a viewer will have a similar setup and be able to help. Be as specific as possible. Which interface you're using, which speakers you're using, which step is not working for you. A better solution would be to try the support forum for your interface or the help desk from the manufacturer. Again, being very specific can save you a lot of time. Okay, I hope something here helped and you're ready to rock out and watch more of Uncle Todd's music videos. See you there.